In today's video, I will be showing you 5 cars you must own in GTA Online. You have probably seen a lot of these cars roaming in GTA Online sessions, as they are for the most part essential cars to survive. The main way that I based this list is mainly from what works best in free mode lobbies, so you guys might have completely different experiences to what I have had, and for example some other vehicles and cars might work better for you. But anyways guys, without any further ado, let's dive straight into this video. So to kick things off with the 5th spot we have the Armoured Karuma. Now the Armoured Karuma will cost you guys $525,000 and you can find this on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. Now what sets the Armoured Karuma apart from all of the other cars across GTA Online is mainly its armour, specifically its bullet resistance. Now don't get me wrong, you guys can still be shot in this car. However, if you guys are playing some missions or just free mode in general, it will be extremely difficult for other players to shoot you. The only massive downside to the Armoured Karuma will be his explosive resistance. If you guys own the Armour Karuma, you will already know this by now, but one single explosive can pretty much just take the vehicle out and you along with it. Overall, the best time to use the Armoured Karuma is in different contact missions and even heists. This will be when you are less likely to see explosives, which honestly make this vehicle pretty effective. I mean, you guys can just drive around NPCs who are continuously shooting you. And of course, you can shoot out of this vehicle. Now, before we move over to the fourth spot, Another honourable mention in the Armoured Karuma's place would probably be the Insurgent Pickup. Now, unlike the Armoured Karuma, the Insurgent Pickup will have the explosive resistance. However, the windows on the Insurgents are much larger, so you probably have a greater chance at being shot out of it. Onto the fourth spot, guys, we have a different car now. Now, this one is a bit questionable, I would say, but honestly, I think it is still a great thing to have, and this will be the Ocelot Pariah. My main reason for putting the Ocelot Pariah here was just how fast this is. It honestly is still one of the fastest cars across GTA Online and it can even overtake and catch up to some HSW vehicles. I believe it has a overall top speed of 136 miles per hour which is almost unheard of of non-HSW cars and the fact that this is a sports car and not a supercar just makes it even more crazy to even think about. You will be able to find the Ocelot Pariah on the Legendary Motorsport website for a reasonable price of just under 1.5 million dollars. I know that a lot of people across GTA Online want the fastest cars, and honestly, if you guys play on the old gen consoles without the HSW upgrades, the Ocelot Pariah will be an extremely great choice. I even think the price of the Ocelot Pariah is very good, especially when compared to the other supercars in the game. I mean, some of them supercars now go for nearly $3 million, and most of them cannot even catch up to the Pariah. If you guys are a newer player in GTA Online, I would definitely recommend picking up the Ocelot Pariah. It will definitely be one of the best first cars that you could possibly get. There is also some pretty good customization options for this vehicle and you can really make this vehicle stand out. For the third car that you guys must own in GTA Online, we have the Duke of Death. The reason I put the Duke of Death so high in this list is because essentially this is very similar to the Armored Karuma. However, it does have a little bit of explosive resistance. In my eyes, this is pretty much the Armored Karuma with the explosive resistance. It can actually have some bullet resistance and you guys may even be able to pick up the Juco Death for completely free. You can find it on the Warstock Cash and Carry website. If the Juco Death is not free, it will cost you guys $665,000. So only a little bit more expensive than the Armored Karuma. But honestly, I would definitely say this is worth it. The Juco Death is very fast. It is probably just on par with the Armored Karuma. But like I said, that explosive resistance probably sets it apart. And if you spend most of your time in free mode sessions with all the Oppressor Mark IIs just flying around, the Duke of Death will definitely be a great vehicle to earn, but unfortunately just remember it will only take two missiles, or at least two RPGs, so that will be definitely something to keep in mind when driving this vehicle. If you guys are a newer player in GTA Online and can get the Duke of Death for free, this will be something that you definitely want to get. This will be by far one of the best starter vehicles, and even if you guys have played GTA Online for a long time, the Duke of Death will still hold up, but like I said before, just remember it will probably only take two missiles until it is destroyed. Onto our second spot guys we have the Night Shark. Now unlike the Duke of Death and the Armored Karuma the Night Shark has some insane explosive resistance. Along with this the Night Shark is extremely fast. I believe that the acceleration of the Night Shark is just really good or at least that is how it feels when driving this. You can purchase the Night Shark from the Warstock Cash and Carry website for just under 1.3 million dollars and honestly for what you guys get with the Night Shark I think this price is extremely 
good. If you are always getting attacked by Oppressor Mark IIs, the Night Shark will be such a good vehicle. And this is just down to the explosive resistance of the Night Shark. You can pretty much tank almost all of the Oppressor Mark II missiles and still survive. Along with this, you can also shoot out of the vehicle as well. And you will also have the option to apply some miniguns to the front of the Night Shark. Honestly, I barely use the miniguns, but they are still a great option to use if you want to. The downside to the miniguns is that they are pretty much just mounted on the front. So essentially the only things that you can really destroy with the mounted guns will just be other vehicles. And if I do remember correctly, when you guys are upgrading the Night Shark, or at least applying some different customization options, I believe there is also some armor plating that can block using your weapons. I don't fully remember if it was the Night Shark or not, but definitely keep this in mind when upgrading it, because I believe that the main advantage of the Night Shark is shooting out of the vehicle with an AP pistol, for example, and then using its tank-like abilities from its armor resistance. And don't forget about the acceleration of the Night Shark. It is extremely fast at getting around. Altogether, just a great vehicle that you must own in GTA Online. And this now brings us to our number one spot. And for this number one spot, this is a sort of newer car. But honestly, just the advantages of this vehicle just make it by far one of the best options that you can possibly get. This vehicle will, of course, be the Itali GTO Stinger TT. Some of you guys might already know about the Itali GTO Stinger TT, but for those of you guys who do not know about this, essentially you can apply the HSW upgrades to the Stinger TT and it will make it the fastest HSW vehicle at a ridiculous 168.5 miles per hour. And it doesn't even stop there because you guys can also put on the Amani Tech upgrades for some extra explosive resistance and of course the missile lock on jammer, which will make the Itali GTO Stinger TT easily one of the better cars to earn in GTA Online. Not only will it be the fastest vehicle, it can also survive explosives and it cannot be locked on by Oppressor Mac 2s if you have the lock on jammer. Now the only downside to this vehicle will be the expensive cost. Just think if you guys have the HSW upgrade, the Amani Tech upgrades and even just buying the vehicle itself and then fully customizing it, it will set you back so many millions of dollars. But for this type of vehicle and all of these different advantages, I think it is by far so worth it. Along with this, in this number one spot, I would also include all of the other Amani Tech upgrades, or at least the ones with the explosive resistance, which is the armor plating and the missile lock on jammers. These things are just extremely useful in these free mode lobbies and across GTA Online as a whole. I also believe that there is some other HSW vehicles that can be used with the Amani Tech upgrades. And just remember, unlike the Benny's upgrades, the HSW upgrades and the Amani Tech upgrades can be used both together. And that is really the main reason why I put the Itali GTO Stinger TT all the way at the top of this list. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on these five vehicles in the comments down below. Which is your favorite? And also let me know if I have missed any cars that you think should be included here. But anyways, guys, if you went on to enjoy this video or found it useful in some way, shape or form, make sure to leave a like i really appreciate your support and if you are new here subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video finally guys stay safe thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next one